Good morning, my name is Sherman Shells. Welcome to another episode and today I am gonna walk you through what are the top five mistakes after you get your whoop strap. Good morning, I just woke up and the very first thing I do, I'm usually always fully clothed, make sure that the kettle is warm from the previous night. Go ahead and pour myself a nice cup of coffee because you never ever wanna drink water first thing in the morning, you always wanna drink coffee and it needs to be excruciatingly hot. and I am actually at Katie Type A's house today. What so up? go check out our channel. But today I'm gonna walk you through the top five mistakes after receiving your whoop strap. So stay tuned, let's get into number one. Oh, I thought I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, say something. Hi, ooh, I liked that zoom, that's <laughs> nice. 27's in the Arizona, fuck my teeth up quick, I'm in the back of English, Miss Kim wasn't trying to see my the good old days, selling Reginald, you know the oh, good old plays. Get high and think of third grade back in my judo oh, my days. Or karate, whatever it was, they said I couldn't stay and I could act mad. But I start tripping back in school. All right, the first thing is how do you properly charge it? I've noticed a lot of videos on YouTube and just people who are trying to explain how to use the Whoop incorrectly charge their Whoop. It is surprisingly easy and I think it's one of the best ways to charge your phone. So what you wanna do is look at the charging puck. It says Whoop right on the bottom. And then you wanna look at your Whoop strap. It says Whoop right there as well. So you want those Whoops to line up. It's pretty simple and it's a slide on. It's like a little tray that you slide on. I'm gonna take this Whoop, the charger puck Whoop from the opposite side of the actual Whoop and then slide it right on until I kind of get it right in and then this will light up, right? When I tap it, you should see it light up. It's telling me, hey, I'm charging your Whoop now. So that is how you charge it. I've noticed a lot of people try to take their Whoop off, right? Set it on the table and then literally try to jam it on top of your Whoop strap. That is going to destroy the charging puck. Do not do that. It is a slide. It should be a smooth, even if you want to take it off the charge, that's okay. That uh, I'm not gonna like sue you because of that, maybe, but it's literally a slide. You just slide the charger on and it goes right in and the LEDs should start to light up. All right, it's that easy. The other thing I've seen people do is you're supposed to wear this while it charges. That's the whole point of the charging puck. I've seen a lot of people actually, they take it, they put the puck on, they grab their charging cable and then they plug it into the puck and then they leave this on the desk. It's like, come on. That is not how you're supposed to charge the Whoop. The whole point of the charging puck is that you can charge the Whoop strap while you're doing whatever you're doing. It's supposed to be super convenient. So when you're done charging, you do slide the puck off, right? Just like a slide. Push on the right side, it should slide right off. And then I will plug this in and charge this somewhere else. And then I can reuse the puck as needed. Do not shower with the puck. So that's the first point, right? Learn how to properly charge your Whoop strap. Ooh la la. Looks like we got the best seat in the house at the coffee shack. <laughs> best place on earth. Yum, yum, yum. Coffee shack was amazing. Cheesecake. Around. Credit we ain't supposed to be here no end. What a meal. What a meal. What a meal. Now, if you notice in my previous shot, I was wearing a bicep strap, which brings me to point number two, and that is to get the bicep strap. One funky thing I've noticed with the whoop strap is that. If you wear it on your wrist, sometimes when you're doing a lot of movement like this, or I'm riding my one wheel, right? It'll- Or eating cheesecake. <laughs> or eating cheesecake. For some reason, it thinks that my heart rate is actually a lot higher than it actually is. So your data, I think, from this current date and time, which is April 20, 2021, wearing the bicep strap is actually a lot more accurate from what I've noticed, subjectively, which makes no sense because it's data. 
<laughs> but I highly recommend you get the bicep strap if you need one. I think I have an extra one, so let me know and I can mail it to you. But yeah, get the bicep strap. I would say with the bicep strap, it looks like it's gonna take up a lot more space and like it's gonna feel uncomfortable, but after you wear it for a couple of days, it just feels like it's not there. And then when you have a t-shirt on, it just disappears and just like that, you don't even have a whoop on and no one will ever, ever know. What if you don't have biceps? Or they're very little. You, everyone has biceps. If you don't have biceps, the, the, I can't speak to that because that's a medical, <laughs> <laughs> okay, medical, no medical advice. Guys. Yeah, exactly. No medical advice on this <laughs> channel. If you need a bicep, please consult your doctor. <laughs> please, <immediately>. Exactly. <laughs> consult your doctor if you have no biceps. Okay, cool. Your biceps well, could be smaller than other biceps, but for right sure now. you'll for have. Sure you got biceps. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll struggle to elevate your arm. <laughs> but yeah. Let me know what you think of this vlog style tips video. <laughs> We're headed down the coast to the Green Sand Beach. Woo. You can tell it's extremely windy. What a hike, Jasper, what'd you think? Epic. Aren't you glad I brought you here? <laughs> well, I was wearing the bicep strap and that brings me to point number three. We hiked to the ocean, right? And when I go into the water, I typically want to take the whoop off and I wear this piece right over here. And to do that, I need to take this off. And when I need to reinstall it back on, the most common mistake that people see is how you actually thread the whoop right here. If you don't thread it properly, your whoop will slide off and it's not ideal. So let me just pull it out real quick. But you'll see there are two ridges right there, right? You have your two ridges and you always wanna start going over and facing the one closest to the heart rate monitor and you go through, pull it through, and then you go under into the one closest to the outside. So that way, when you close the whoop, always double check that when I clasp in, that really all you see is one clean line right there. You want that one clean line. So make sure you don't make the mistake of doing the first one and it, you'll, it'll look funky. You might see a piece of plastic here. If you see that piece of plastic, you've done it wrong. I've seen so many people incorrectly put it on and that will just make the whoop loose over time. So don't do that, tie it properly. We're at uh, Kua Bay, right Jasper? Yep. Kua Bay, and I'm gonna go for a swim, so I'm gonna take out the bicep strap. Biggest thing is if you try to swim with this, it's definitely falling off. Don't use the flexible bands. What you can also buy is the pronate kind of swimming version, but that one is also probably not as good, especially if you're hitting waves and any kind of like fast swimming, I would not recommend it. So what you gotta do is unthread it before each water experience that you're planning on having. I take everything off. So really all you have is the sensor, you want it the side with the holes facing nearest you. Put on the whoop band. You have to do this every time you're doing a water sport if you want to measure it. There's obviously some startup cost. I like to take it up as far up as my forearm as it feels comfortable because the whoop is most accurate on your forearm slash bicep. Put it in and there we go. Now I'm ready for water sports. I can handle any kind of waves and it'll stay put. It won't move anywhere and I'll grow some beautiful tan lines and have some great sun protection, which is the best part. Sherving can eat a lot. What can I say? What a fishy place. But um, <laughs> we got a fresh dinner, and now we're gonna go home and shower. Literally, just gonna slice up the fish and eat it raw. Oh yeah. Showering, which brings me to point number four, and that is cleaning your whoop wristband, yo. 
you work out with that, you wear it, you never take it off, you gotta clean it. And we all know everyone showers every day. Well, most people shower every day. Well, maybe some people shower every day, right, Jasper? Do you shower every day? Mm, sure. <laughs> So if you look at this band right here, it's a little dirty, right? The most common thing is since you can charge the whoop literally on your body all the time, you can not change the strap if you don't want. The thing that's easy to forget is cleaning it, right? You clean your body. I shower with it on, so I don't even take it off, but there's an underside to it, right? You want to clean the underside. You want to let it dry. You want to let it be off of your skin because now you're wearing this thing that's on your skin all the time and you're not giving your, your skin the time to breathe, to regenerate. I don't know, but I just don't think it's a good idea to keep this device on top of your skin 24 seven and never give your, your skin time to breathe or for you to clean the actual device. So make sure to freaking clean it. And one thing to note about that, the white ones, this is the swimming white one. If you can tell, it's kind of dirty and brownish. I think it's easy to tell right there, right? You see those two colors. I haven't found a good way to clean this. The colors will stay. I've noticed just in the Facebook group on Whoop that a lot of the white bands will get dirty. Kind of, they start to get, get a little color on them and it's hard to clean. I haven't figured out. I stopped wearing it. Buy white bands. But as simple as that, just clean your Whoop strap. like. Wipe it down, let it air dry. Don't wear it for like an hour. It'll be fine, you'll be okay. Your heart rate data does not need to be uploaded to the cloud every freaking second. People are psycho. What are we making for dinner, Jasper? Mango. Mangoes, welcome to Hawaii. And I, Sherman doesn't like fruit. Fun fact for all you Sherman fans. <laughs> he doesn't really like fruit, but all I have for him on the island is fruit. We got mama sapote, we got mango. I like chocolate. We got so salad, kombucha. And what? That's a lot of fish. 1.3 pounds. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, it is bedtime now. I've got my little sleep mask, blue light blockers, and my Somnifix mouth tape. I'm such a biohacker. <laughs> but this takes us to our last and final tip for top five biggest, most common mistakes, and that is not using the journal feature. If you check it out, you can see my recovery score, my strain for today. And there's a little tab right here that says like a journal. Let's see if you can see that. So if you check that out, you can see my journaling for today. So what did I use last night? I used my blue light blockers, magnesium, did not have alcohol, COVID-19, ice bath, massage, sick or stress. So now over time, Whoop will actually look at this recovery scores and the journaling data points that I've personally selected to respond to questions with and give me whether my recovery improves or deproves. Deproves, is that a word? It'll let me know in my monthly report whether these factors affect my recovery on a month to month basis. So make sure that you see that, check this out. So make sure you're going in the journal feature, right, you're tapping up here, edit. So make sure you're going to this customized journal feature and you're selecting, there's so many freaking options, like it's insane. And adding the ones that you wanna better understand, is this improving or not doing anything to my sleep? And typically, I like to make sure that it's like 10 to 15% or higher because those smaller percentages could just leave room for error. So use the journal feature, customize it, update it, and pick the questions that you wanna answer on a daily basis. And make sure to just answer them when you wake up. So I'm gonna answer them First thing when I wake up tomorrow and my sleep has been auto detected. Other than that, I'm gonna put on my eye mask. I'm going to bed. Thank you for watching this video. This was a video on the top five most common mistakes of the Whoop Strap. If you're gonna renew your membership or you're buying a Whoop Strap for a friend, use my link in the description below. You'll get $30 off. It helps support the channel. My name is Sherman Sure. Subscribe, like. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.